Here are some notes on the carotid body chemoreceptor. The carotid body is the main peripheral chemoreceptor. It's located bilaterally on both sides of the neck at the bifurcation of the common carotid arteries. So you can see the common carotid artery here bifurcates, so the carotid body chemoreceptor will be somewhere in this region. The primary function of the carotid body chemoreceptor is to monitor and respond to changes in blood gas levels. So some notes on the primary stimulus response. The carotid body chemoreceptor is most sensitive to decreases in arterial oxygen partial pressure, PaO2. It's specifically activated when the PaO2 falls below 60 millimeters of mercury, and it sends signals to the uh, medulla via the glossopharyngeal nerve, that's cranial nerve 9. The carotid body chemoreceptor is triggered through, uh, it triggers increased respiration through changes in both tidal volume and respiratory rate. It does also monitor other things. It also detects changes in arterial CO2, that's PaCO2, and it also monitors arterial pH changes. The response to pH and PaCO2, however, is relatively minor compared to oxygen sensing, so oxygen is definitely its primary stimulus clinical significance. You can denervate your carotid body when you have a procedure like a carotid endarterectomy. If you have a unilateral denervation, you usually have a decreased response to mild hypoxemia. Bio, uh, bilateral denervation leads to a complete loss of ventil ventilatory response to acute hypoxia. The carotid body chemoreceptor is integrated with other elements of respiratory control. There are signals from the carotid body that are processed by the respiratory center in the medulla and the pons, and the carotid body works in conjunction with central chemoreceptors in the medulla. So this makes it part of a larger system that maintains respiratory homeostasis.